Alrighty guys, what is going on? Corbin of Corbin's Cornhole Reviews, back for another episode. Just filming back to back to back tonight, doing what I can. Beautiful night, no wife, no kids, whatever. Let's roll. Uh, today, we have the Ultra Viper C. Uh, these are the new release Viper C. This is when they came out with them again. The initial Viper C was, you know, older and super, super sought after. These ones, not so much. And they're not the newest release. I will say that. They did come out with some more colors, uh, but I'm pretty sure they're exactly the same. Um, I don't know if Ultra is still making them currently because the dots, uh, because the whole modeling and the game changer patch patent BS that's going on. I mean, I say grow the sport. Don't try to make all your money by suing other people. But hey, that's just me. Um, and I don't really know all the details of the thing. So whatever um but let's get into it i don't like talking the politics details all that crap the drama whatever i just like throwing bags uh so let's go to price i'm i'm racking my brain because i don't fully remember i did buy these brand new when they first came out and then i ended up selling them because i didn't use them i didn't really give them enough of a chance to be totally honest with you um but i did purchase these from my buddy um uh, original price was either 85 or 95 bucks. Uh, I'm pretty sure it was standard ultra pricing. And then after the initial release day, it went up to the 125, I think. Right now, I don't believe you can get them on their website, but I do think that you can get them um, just aftermarket on the Facebook groups for probably about 100 bucks, maybe 110, just depends. You know, they're not going crazy. If they do stop making Vipers with the dots and all that because of the whole patent, then maybe they're going to be worth more. So maybe I'll hang on to these. Uh, the break-in method. I believe they were conditioned, uh, washed, all that. You know, they came to be used, so I'm not entirely sure, but it seems like that's how they were because they kind of feel like mine, and that's exactly what I did with mine. I do have a little breeze coming at me. I do apologize if you can hear it, but it's not really that strong, so hopefully it's not all that bad today. Uh, speeds on these guys. We have a 6 on the slow side, and we have an 8 on the fast side. So correct me if I'm wrong, but I think that it is the regular Viper slow side material, regular Viper fast side material. They just have dots on both sides. And I actually might be wrong on that. It might be Widow slow side material because the Viper slow side already has dots. So it might be actually the Widow slow side with the dots and then Viper fast side with dots. So there are dots on both sides. And that throws some people off because they're like, what side is the actual slow side? Well, the fast side is stamped. They are ACL Pro stamped. Uh, the fast side is the stamp side. The slow side has the stars. So... Pretty easy way of figuring it out, or you can, you know, throw them and figure it out. But hey, that's you. Uh, whatever. Um, so that was speeds. Uh, let's go with the three apps. We have fill, feel, and flop. Uh, the fill is your typical ultra fill. If you fill an ultra bag, it's the exact fill. I mean, they're a little more full. But they're still pretty nice and floppy. Uh, they feel nice. The materials are good. You can't touch ultra as far as their closing stitch, their seams all that, their edge work, their rounded corners. You just can't touch them. They're awesome. They're one of the best in the game with it. Um, I just got the butters actually today and they're the exact same. I mean, the, the stitching on it is flawless. The seams are beautiful. It's just something ultra really excels at. Uh, the flop on these, they do get fairly floppy. They're not wild right now, but if you've thrown, you know, widows, vipers, you kind of know what they're like. Uh, playability on these, you're going to go blocks and pushes for sure. On the fast side, you might be able to slide around and drop in. Just kind of depends on those dots, how much they want to hang. Um, I will say that slow side can hang on the hole sometimes. We'll see if I can recreate that. Uh, it happens to me once in a while, but for the most part, the slow side is actually fairly friendly. And for the most part, I throw these fairly well. Uh, I did have to say that, so I'm probably going to miss almost every bag now. But, you know, let's figure it out. Let's see what happens. Start on the slow side here. That hit my leg, but it still stayed on. So they don't punish you when you miss. I will say that the slow side, it does not punish you if you miss. That's short. That, okay. Edit, redo, whatever. That was bad. They stay on the board. I mean, they really do. I, I don't have to loft them nearly as much as, you know, some other bags. I have to throw them a little bit lower just because of their speeds. Uh, I did just finish throwing cat threes, and that's a slightly quicker bag, and I was lofting them pretty decently, so got to just retrain the brain for a second and be like, no, throw these a little lower. 
Viper Seas. Just throw them a little lower. You'll be all right. Oh. <laughs> Don't you guys wish you could just, like, be here and just rip on me when I throw like that? Just, like, that ain't my leg. It's just embarrassing. You know, I come out here to make videos to help you guys. And then, like, I can hardly hit the board. Sometimes I throw. And I kid you not. I don't know if he wants me to tell you this or not, but literally my, my partner, John, he was like, dude, if I didn't know you and only watch your videos, like I would think you're definitely a social thrower all day long. I'm like, wow, thanks. That's, that's quite a burn. That's, it's just rude. Like I play competitive. I, maybe I shouldn't, maybe I should play social. That's you guys tell me, uh, let's go to the fast side here. But yeah, I mean, I, I thought it was pretty funny. I was like, well, it's, that is fair. I'm like, but also when I'm playing, you know, I'm playing tournaments, when I'm playing blind draws, whatever, I'm not talking as I'm throwing. And you guys might not think that's a huge deal. Um, try it. <laughs> Honestly, because I've had multiple people actually tell me on my videos. Four pack. I've had multiple people tell me on the comments and stuff like, hey don't talk as you're throwing like I can see that it actually throws you off I'm like well yeah I should do that and I try it and I just feel like I'm throwing and it's all silence and I don't like that I make the videos to talk about the bags talk about the game you know whatever I don't like just not throwing or not talking I do like throwing I don't like not throwing either honestly I love throwing but I like talking so it is what it is if my throw suffer a little bit so be it but stick with the fast side here Missed. Whew. Barely caught the bottom of the board. I mean, they just, they kind of go where you want them to. They're not going to kick on you. Ah. And if you don't throw them crazy hard, that fast side is also not going to launch off the back. And this is, this is a really nice speed. I do like a speed like this. I almost wish the slow side was like maybe five-ish because then I could lay definitely lay some better blocks um that's just me you know it's I was kind of trying there and it still just found its way in it's definitely trying there but loved it hanging let's use it as a bumper let's go to fast side here barely clip it go fast side bumper again didn't clip it they're a solid bag. I, I don't really know why I didn't throw them that much when I first had them. Uh, I was kind of stuck on pro snipers, and that's all I really wanted to throw. Didn't want to go with anything else because I love that pro sniper slow side, and I still do. But, oh, that's short. There's the front board. That was a good one. Um, <laughs> it's because I'm trying to lay a blocker, guys. I swear. That's what I was trying to do. Uh, show off that little push capability. Flip to the slick side. Oh my goodness. Oh, why do you guys watch my videos? <laughs> I mean, do you watch them so that you can see me throw that poorly? <laughs> I mean, I, I understand why you guys watch them. You know, tons of different bags. You know, an opinion on it. Whatever. I, I am just being facetious for the most part, but... It is kind of sad to me that uh, I can throw literally that poorly. Just, oh, easy push. Miss the board. Okay. Let's go slow side again. There's the block. Finally got it. Let's go fast side here. Missed it. Going to go fast side again. I'm literally just trying to go in with that bag. So I guess I'm going to try it again. Missed it all three times. It, it's not even a hard shot. <laughs> right up the gut. I just have to run into that bag, drop it in. Uh, that's what not throwing for a couple weeks will do to you. And yeah, so you guys are going to hear that on videos for like the next two or three weeks because I'm recording a ton tonight. So you'll be like, well, I thought you hadn't thrown for two weeks like two weeks ago. I'll be like, well, if you notice, I'm wearing the same shirt. I'm wearing the same shorts. <laughs> it's the same night. The sun's just changing position. It's all that's happening. But overall, I do, I do like these bags. Let's go to the slick side here. 
Get up. Yeah, I, I drew that one too low. Caught the bottom lip. I do like them. Um, same thing. Damn. I guess I'll see if they air mail because I just I can't find a rhythm. Jesus. All right, we're going down and back again. That was bad. The video's a little long. Sorry. But these are actually legit bags, and I, I want to show that they're legit bags. Uh, the new color combos they came out with, they came out with a carbon, which is like black and yellow. Uh, they came out with a pink and black, and then a brown and orange, which I thought was super odd. I, I don't really know anyone that wants brown bags, but I guess a couple people did order them, so maybe those couple people wanted them. Get in there. Yeah. I, I just thought it was weird. Um, odd color combo to come up with. Let's see if they airmail. Jeez. Man, I know they airmail, but I don't. I mean, that barely kissed the back of the board. That was deep. Need to get those down pat. Gonna have to do some airmail practice after I'm done recording videos. Might have to throw 100 and see what happens. Let's go slow side here. This is better. I just missed. You know, just missed that one off to the right. There we go. Let's go slick side. Get up. Yeah. Just kind of missed. Let's go airmail again. At least gave it a better chance. So they're solid bags. That's what it comes down to. Uh, if you can get your hands on them, I honestly recommend it. If you like Widows, they're actually pretty similar. I'm not sure that you would need to go with these over a Widow if you already have Widows. But if you like Vipers and need something for just those days where the boards are a little quick, you want a Viper feel, you want Viper playability just a little slower, I mean, you got dots on both sides. There you go, Viper C. I, I think it's a solid bag. If you like that 6.8 range, you really can't go wrong with them. They're they're solid. Uh, when they're very broken in, they do get very hole friendly. They don't hang up as much. You can block with them. You can push with them. You can really do what you need to. So they're solid. I do recommend them if you can get your hands on them. Um, that's about it. So that is the short and sweet on the Ultra Viper C. If you guys like this one, please give me that thumbs up, subscribe, share it with your buddies. I'll catch you on the next one. Thanks.